In this problem, we have a boat that's sitting on top of some waves that are traveling with a certain velocity and, and have a certain height um, and have a certain wavelength. We're given this wavelength, uh, lambda equals to 15 meters, and we're also given the um, y of t, which is the vertical displacement of the boat as a function of time, and it takes a cosine function shape. And we're asked to determine the height of these waves and the velocity these waves are traveling at with respect to the boat. So first, let's plot this function. So we're going to plot the function y um, as a function of time. right? And this is going to be a negative cosine curve. So we're going to oscillate um, between these two states, um, the top and the bottom. And uh, this cosine curve is going to have an amplitude of 0.5 meters, and this is in the negative, and then here we have uh, positive 0 0.5 meters. And um, we can see that this here will be our amplitude, um, and this here is the total height h. But let's write this function down again. y of t is equal to negative 0 0.5 uh, times cosine of uh, 0 0.419 times t. And this the cosine for, has the following form. Amplitude times cosine of omega t plus phi. So we have our amplitude, our frequency, and our phase. We're going to start with the amplitude. And from the amplitude, we can derive the height of the wave. So the amplitude is equal to negative 0.5 meters, or just 0.5, because we take the absolute value of it. And we know that the height is equal to 2 times the amplitude. So the height is equal to 2 times 0.5 meters is equal to 1 meter. So our height is equal to 1 meter. And this is the first um, uh, question, first part of the question. Now, let's look at the frequency. So, we know that omega is equal to 0 0.419 radians per second. And we know that velocity is equal to lambda f. We have lambda, but we don't know f. Right? But we can derive f from omega because omega equals to 2 pi f. So we know that the frequency f is going to be equal to omega over 2 pi, which is equal to 0 0.419 divided by 2 pi, which is equal to 0 0.0667 hertz. And we can plug this into um, the v equals to lambda f equation, um, where v is going to be equal to 15 meters times the frequency 0 0.0667 hertz, and this is equal to 1 meter per second. So we know that the velocity of the wave is 1 meter per second in the i hat direction because it's pointing towards the right. This is the second part of the question. The last part of the question has to deal with the phase. So from, we know that phi, from what we're given, phi is equal to zero radians. Therefore, there is no phase shift. And this is not part of the question because there is no phase shift. But essentially from the amplitude we derive the height of the wave and from the frequency we derive the velocity of the wave given a wavelength.